Hi everyone, I'm Vesta from Business Development Management Team in Tibo Technology and today I would like to tell you about our gear fences and uh, layers in the map component in aggregator. First of all, you should create uh, a gear fence resource. Yeah, a gear fence resource. Right click on the server and select create update resources. Then you should find a gear fence uh, plugin from this category. Press OK button. After that, the aggregate server will automatically create the resource. This is the fence container. Double click on it and we create an instance of a gear fence. Insert the name and the description. Okay, let's give it a name Polygon. Right, type it in, okay, and as you can see GFNs has three tabs, the first one is properties, parameters, you can choose the type of the polygon, we would like to create a polygon type, yeah, that will be our GFNs, we can choose the radius, four points, and the points themselves. You can also certainly create points in this way, but it's actually easier to create them from the graphical user interface. Choose Gear Fence Editor, and here we can create our polygon like this. You can drag the points change the shape yeah you just drag them also we need to create the points type of a gear fence and the path so here is the path we choose the points and parameters So basically, again, choose the path here. So here is how we can draw it. That will be a path. And like in the polygon, we can drag the points here and there. And again, you enter the name and just the description. Press OK. You can view it and put more points over your geographical map. Close it. OK. OK, and now we should actually create a widget. Here they are. And this widget will contain our map. So basically, let's give it a name test map widget. In this editor, you can just choose and drag a map component, and it already contains the first layer. This layer by default has the type context mask. It actually means that this context should be shown on your layer. By default it's uh, just one virtual device. But we create gear fences and we want to certainly see them. Select gear fence masks and then select gear fences polygon. And you see this polygon is here. It's created by the fence. We can certainly customize our polygon. We can select its color, and change it. We can select its description.
OK. Again, it's the test type. You can also use an expression for this. It's more complicated, but actually provides very interesting uh, possibilities. Sometimes it can be a very long and complicated expression, actually. Let's add another layers. Of course, you can select the layer, which will show all our gear fences. Okay, here we can just select all the parts of our polygon, our points, and everything. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is the table expression. And it creates uh, objects from the expression, like this. This expression, which you can see, created a table with four fields, latitude, longitude, and others. And here you can see the black server, which is created from our expression. That's all for today. Thank you. Goodbye.